All right. Uh, just so people know, how old are you? Uh, I'm 17. Oh, you're young. How long have you converted to Islam? Uh, last year in February. All right. What's the What's the background, Christian background you're raised in? I didn't really was raised Christian. I was born a Fijian, uh, a Protestant in your country, but in Germany it's like a Fijian, no. evangelist, evangelist, no. evangelist, 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 evangelist. Oh, evangelical, evangelist, evangelical, Lutheran or evangelical? Uh, I don't really know. So you didn't know much about Christianity or the Bible then? Like I don't uh, like didn't know much about the Bible, but like I mean I didn't know which confession I had really. You get me? You didn't know the confession, but you of all the confessions in Islam, which confession you chose? I'm Sunni. Okay, but which branch of Sunni? Ashari, Maturidi, or Athari, Salafi? Are you Salafi? I don't like decided yet. I I'm still learning. Okay, so. Okay, I'm trying to figure it out. <clears throat> so you jumped into Sunni Islam, but you mm -hmm. don't know which branch of Sunni Islam, and yet you were baffled about which confession when it came to Christianity. But then you have the Shia and the different branches of Shia, and you have Quran only. So why Sunni Islam? I mean, like my friend who made Dawah for several years, uh, I said to him, like, I'm going to read Quran. Then I read the Quran. And then I said to him, like, I'm ready to convert. He, just the Quran? Just the Quran. Yeah. So did, how, like, I, I know about the Hadith, etc., etc., but, like, I just read the Quran okay. because it's the Word of God. What, mm. what in the Quran would make you think that just reading the Quran? Because if I ask you, if you just mm. read the Quran, can you show me from the Quran who Muhammad is when his name is mentioned only four times? Mm. I know that. But, like, you assumed in the voicemails earlier, that it was about Tawheed, and I converted uh, because of the Tawheed. Uh, you converted because of what again? The tawheed, the Tawheed, the oneness of God. So of God. where did you get that the Quran teaches there's uh, the oneness of Allah? Is that what they told you? That's what I read in the Quran. No, then you didn't read it carefully. But didn't yeah. Allah say in the Quran that he's only one? What One what? What does that mean? Only one God. No, what does one mean? You're not answering the question. One one means one. There's so nothing else. I say Germany is one nation. Mm -hmm. So what is one? What does it mean, one nation? It's just one country. Okay, but that country is made up of multiple people. So when you say Allah is one, one what? But a country isn't based on the people. Like in the country can be zero people and still it's one country. Okay, so then, but the country is a landmass, right? Because when we mm -hmm. talk about Germany, we're talking about its ambitions. So if you want to be smart that way, okay. So your family is one family. Let's play your game. So okay. one family means one person? No. No, no, no. Let's play your game. Because when I said Germany, we don't yeah. care about the land. If there's no people in land, the hell with the land. You know what I was talking about, but I'm going to play your game. One family. So that's one person? If the relatives died, yes. Okay, so then it's not a family. Be a little smart. Think about what you're saying. So if you say <clears throat> one community, mm -hmm. one jama, what does that mean? That it's one community. And So it's one person? It can be one person. No, that's not a community. Are you making up definitions as you go along? No. Okay, so when you tell me Allah is one, what do you mean one? Explain it to me from the Quran. Don't use hadith because if you go hadith, you'll be in trouble. He, he, he's one deity, just so one God. Being? Where does the Quran use the term being? One being. What, what again? Where does the Quran say Allah is one being? You use the term. You said one being. Where does that term being appear in the Quran? Let me uh, take a look. Yeah, take a look. You'll be looking for a long time. So as you're looking, the spirit in the Quran, who is he? What is he? The spirit in the Quran? Yeah. Because you read it and you be, be took shahada just in reading it as mm -hmm. if you understood it at 17. So who's the spirit in the Quran? Are you referring like in the Surah Maryam where the spirit yeah. gave uh, spirit. Ruch. Maryam? Quran, Ruch, the spirit. There's only, there's Ruh mentioned throughout. Who is he in the Quran? Because you said Allah is one. So I want to know what you think of the spirit. 
But I mean, we got verses like where Allah gave uh, Adam the spirit, then we have uh, the spirit no, gave give... Maryam Jesus. No, you, you misread the Quran. He didn't give Adam the spirit. He breathed the spirit to Adam to make Adam a living being. Because the same thing he did with Adam, he did with Mary to get her pregnant. Who is the spirit that came down to Muhammad? And the Quran, I don't care. And we that's assuming Muhammad, even though the name Muhammad appears only. So the spirit that came to uh, Muhammad. Who is it? Gabriel. Gabriel. I'll give you $10 million and I'll take Shahada with you. Show me Gabriel's, uh, the spirit in the Quran. Show it to me. Show me the ayah where it says, Jibreel is the spirit that came to Muhammad. Jibreel is the spirit. Mm -hmm. I know Jibreel came down, but he didn't come down alone. So show me where it says, Jibreel is the spirit. Show me the ayah. We'll wait. But we don't have a verse in the Quran where Jibreel came to Muhammad. Yes, you do. Chapter 2, verse 97. Say this again. You don't know much of the Quran. And you went ahead and converted it to a religion you don't know much. Open up your Quran, 297. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it says it came down, that Jibreel brought it down. But what I'm asking you is, I want you to show me in the Quran where it says Jibreel is the spirit, the Ruh. It doesn't. The Ruh is not Jibreel. That's the that's the lying, the, the propaganda they taught you. But it's okay. If you're open and honest, you're going to see the lies. But read 297 for me. Mm -hmm. Although they used to pray for victory by means of the prophet over the polytheist, when they, uh, when there came to them a book from Allah which they recognized confirming the scripture they had in their hands they rejected it so may Allah's condemnation yes, yeah, be upon think, the disbelievers yeah yeah I don't think you're maybe it's a different first uh, uh, sorry 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 yeah, 97 but uh, maybe yeah, because you're probably reading different versification that's why no 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 I got the verse right now I got a little yeah, bit I got was okay you yeah? say or prophet uh, are you listening are you listening of course I'm listening dude. Take okay it Say, O Prophet, whoever is an enemy of Gabriel should know that uh, should know that he relieved his Quran to your heart by Allah's will, confirming what came before it, a guide and good news for the believers. So there it says Gabriel brought the Quran. So I'm wondering, can you show me where it says Gabriel is the spirit, a ruh, the spirit, or ruh al alamin, the faithful spirit, or ruh al qudus? Can you show me where it says Gabriel is that spirit? Only using the Quran? Even if you go to Hadith, if you go to Hadith Muhammad, you're not going to prove it either. You're not going to find a Hadith from your prophet saying, Gabriel is the Holy Spirit. Doesn't exist. I know because I've debated Muslims on this to show them that their view of Tawheed is a lie. The Quran and the Sunnah doesn't teach that. Ruh al Qudus, no? Yeah. Right? Show me where it says it's uh, Gabriel. Don't give me a translation. Yeah. yeah. Show it to me. Uh, uh, in Surah Al Baqarah, no, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't say it's Gabriel. For verse, yeah, 87, 87. 83. You didn't hear yes, Ruh Al Qudus, Jason. And this, rever the Jason. scholars referred this to Gabriel. Jason, you didn't hear my question. I know where the words Holy Spirit appears. Can mm -hmm. you listen better? Because I'll give you where it is chapter 2, verse 87, chapter 2, verse 253 of the Quran. Chapter 5, verse 110, and chapter 16, verse 102. I didn't ask you to show me where the Quran mentions the Holy Spirit. I asked you to show me where it says Gabriel is the Holy Spirit. Did you understand my question? So there should be an explicit verse where it says Ruh al-Qudus is Jibril. No, there is explicit verse that the Holy Spirit is not an angel. That's my point. He's not Which an verse are you referring to? Go to chapter 70, verse 4 of the Quran. The spirit is not an angel. He's different from angels. Open up chapter 70, verse 4. Yeah. Verse 4. The Holy Spirit gives me perfect recall of the facts for the Lord Jesus Christ. Chapter 70, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Read it for me. The spirit is always mm -hmm. distinguished from the angels. Through which the angels and the Holy Spirit will ascend to him on the day 50,000 years in length. How many groups? Read it again. The angels and the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is uh, distinct from the angels. So is Gabriel an angel? Yes. Okay, so right now I know you can read the angels and the Spirit. That means the Spirit is distinct from the angels. But there's a couple more. It's not the only one. Go to chapter 78, 38. Chapter 78, 38. 
78? 38, yes. Chapter 78. 38. On the day the Holy Spirit and the angels will stand in the ranks. No one will talk except those granted permission by the most compassionate and the, whose words are true. How many groups again? The Holy Spirit and the angels. So again, if Gabriel's an angel, then he's included with the angels. But the Holy Spirit is different from them. There's another one. Chapter 97, verse 4. Chapter 97? Verse 4. The night the angels and the Holy Spirit descend by the permission of the Lord for every decreed matter. So again, the Holy Spirit, it's actually Ruch, but I'll go with your translations. Not all translations are accurate. The Spirit and the angels, they're two different groups. They're not the same. And you'll mm -hmm. never find anywhere in your Quran. Now, remember my challenge, because I know Muslims like to answer questions I didn't ask. And not mm -hmm. you. You're young. But they then dishonestly attack an argument I didn't make. You'll never find angels said to be spirits in your Quran. Notice, in your Quran, angels are never said to be spirits. And the spirit is never said to be Gabriel. In your Quran, they're always separated from one another. One more. Chapter 16, verse 2. 16, verse 2. He sends down the angels with revelations by his command yeah, to whoever he wills of his servants, yeah, stating, warn humanity that there is no God worthy of worship except yeah. me, so be mindful of me alone. Jason, sometimes maybe if you can hear me so I can stop you from reading a bad translation, it doesn't say revelation, it says ruh. The angels with the spirit of his command come down. It's ruh. It's not the word wahi. Do you... Would you be able to come? Do you know how to read Arabic or no? I'm learning. I'm still learning. Okay. So if you check your Arabic that you're learning, it's the spirit and the ruach, mm -hmm. not the, I'm sorry, the angels and the ruach come down by his order, not the yes. angels and the wahi or ilham. It's ruach. This is why I'm going to give you a better translation. Here you go. Is Arabic your native tongue? No, I'm Aramaic. We are the our language is the mother of Arabic. Aramaic Syriac. I'm Assyrian. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. So we are we are the ancestors. We come before. Anyway, 16 verse 2. This is Pikthal. And I'll give you the Arabic in transliteration. Okay. Hold on a second, but let me just put it on the screen because in it. He sendeth down the angels with the spirit of his command. Okay, now let me give you the transliteration. Meaning that those who can't read Arabic at least can see it spelled out in English words. Okay, here it goes right here. Forgive me, I'm butchering English and Arabic. So here it is. You're going to see. You nazilu. You see the word? Malaikata. Bi el ruhi. Min amrihi. Ruhi. El ruhi. El ruh. Yes. The spirit. So it's not revelation. So now, now you count 16 verse 2. Yes. 70 verse 4. 78, 38. 78, 90, 38. 40. No, you read those already. I'm just okay. okay, it's a recap. 16 verse 2. You read them already. I'm just going over them. Okay. 16, yeah. verse two, 70 verse 4. 78, 38. 97 verse 4. The spirit is always separated from the angels. Mm -hmm. The spirit and the angels, the angels and the spirit, the angels come down with the spirit. So they're always separated. The spirit is never called an angel. Now, when Muhammad is asked, because you believe it's Muhammad who's asked, because you believe the Quran came through him, right? When yeah. he's asked, when he's asked about the spirit, Ar-Ruh, in Arabic is Ar-Ruh, they're asking about the spirit. I'm going to give you a Salafi translation. 1785, Sayyidut al-Isra, 1785, chapter 17, verse 85. Here it is. Yeah. I'll put it on the screen for you. I'll probably just post verses to make it easier. And they ask you, O Muhammad, concerning the ruh. So they even put the Arabic translation, the spirit. Say, the ruh is one of those things, one of the things, the knowledge of which is only with my Lord. And of knowledge, you mankind have been given only a little. So instead of saying it's Gabriel, he goes, all I know is that he comes down by command of my Lord. 
and we've only been given a little, little knowledge. Here's where he should have said it's Gabriel, but he didn't. So when they tell you it's Gabriel, they're lying to you. That's later tradition being read back into the Quran. The reason why I mentioned the spirit is because according to your Quran, the spirit is creator and life giver. The spirit creates and gives life, and yet he's not Allah, he's subject to Allah. Have any verses for the claim that the spirit is a creator? Yeah, do you want me to post it for you? I'll do it right here. Okay. Can you, you can do it. Chapter okay. 19, Surah Al-Maryam, 1916 yes. to 21. I'm going to post it here because I'm going to make it okay. easy. I don't know what translation you're reading. Chapter 19 of the Quran, Surah Al-Maryam, chapter 19, mm -hmm. ayah 16 to 21. Now watch 19, verse 19, when Mary doesn't know who the spirit is because he appears as a man. Yeah. And make mention of Mary, Maryam, in the scripture. Okay, when she had withdrawn from her people to a chamber looking and had chosen seclusion from them, then we sent unto her our spirit, Ruhana, Ruh. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it, now watch what it did, and it assumed for her the likeness of a perfect man. She said, Lo, I seek refuge in the beneficent one from thee, from Rahman, from the merciful, if thou art God for me. So she didn't know it's a spirit. He was appearing as a man. Yeah. Now look what he says. He said, I am only a messenger of thy Lord to do what? Of thy Lord. Let me find the rest of it because it didn't come through. I don't know why. Let me do it here. Let me show it to you. One second. This is verse 19. So don't be afraid, Mary. I'm only a messenger of the Lord to do what? I'm only a messenger of thy Lord that I may bestow on thee a faultless son. I have come to give to you, bestow on you a faultless son. So he's saying, I've come to get you pregnant. Not sexually, obviously. We believe mm -hmm. in But he's the one who's going to give her a son. So he created life. This is why when Allah breathed the spirit into Adam, that wasn't Adam's spirit. That was Allah's spirit coming to Adam to make him alive. So... The spirit creates, but he's not Allah. He's distinct from Allah and subject to Allah. So how many creators do you have? We have one creator. But the spirit creates, and he's not Allah, right? But the so spirit is granted, got granted permission to do that. Okay, so Allah made him his partner in creating and giving life. So that means Allah just committed shirk. Okay, keep it, keep it up, keep it, keep doing what you're doing. Or so the Messiah did create something by the will of Allah. That actually backfires against you because Jesus creates exactly like Allah does, and the verb create is only used of Allah and Jesus in the Quran. These are the arguments we Christians use against you guys. You're using it, you're actually making my case. Because how did Allah create Adam? Hmm? How did Allah create Adam? I'm gonna let me show you. Jesus creates exactly like your God. Exactly, no different. And even breathes life like your God does. So this is our problem with you guys. You tell us Allah is one, but you have the Spirit in Jesus who create exactly like Allah. Here, let me prove it to you. I'm going to put it for you. Chapter 38. These are things the Muslims will never show you or explain away. Of course. Chapter 38, verses 71 to 72. 38, 71, 72. Now watch how Allah is going to create Adam. To how mm -hmm. Jesus creates the birds. When thy Lord said unto the angels, Lo, I'm about to create. Now you ask your Muslim friend this verb, khalaqa. It's the verb khalaqa, right? Mm -hmm. Ask him, what's the verb? Because in some Muslim translations, they play with that when it's used of Jesus. The verb khalaqa, one of the names of Allah is al khaliq. Khalaqa is only used of Allah and Jesus, and it's never used of anyone else. The verb khalaqa, create, only used for Allah and Jesus, no one else. Ask your sheikh, your, your imam, to see if I'm lying. But let me read it for you. When thy Lord said unto the angels, lo, I'm about to create a mortal out of mire. Now, the word is teen, teen, clay. Okay? Let me just do this one second. Get the Arabic channel. I want you to remember the word teen, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to show you, according to the Quran, Jesus creates exactly like Allah. And he breathes life exactly like Allah. Here it is. I'm going to show it to you. You see that word? Basharan min teenin. Teen. Clay. See that mm -hmm. there? Okay. Now. So how Allah created Adam? From teen clay. 
And when I have fashioned him and breathed into him of my spirit, then fall down before him prostrate. And I'll come back and ask you about prostrating. Now watch how Jesus creates. I'm going to show you. Same verb, khalaqa. Let's see how Jesus creates. And Allah permits him to do so. And we're wondering why. Because it makes him the creator. But anyway, here, let me show it to you. All right. So I'm going to put on chapter 3, verse 49. Chapter 3, verse 49. Here it is. Surat al-Imran, named after supposedly Mary's family. Chapter 3, verse 49. To be a messenger of to the children of Israel saying, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. I will create for you. Same verb. Out of clay. Teen. Same material. As mm -hmm. the likeness of a bird. Then I will breathe into it, and it will be a bird by the leave of Allah. So Allah permits Jesus to create from clay and breathe life into it. So Jesus has the power to create and breathe life like Allah. Why? And only him, nobody else. Why? He's the Messiah. He has to do miracles. What does it mean, the Messiah? But Moses did miracles. He wasn't Messiah, but he didn't create and breathe life. And what does it mean for him to be the Messiah? The Messiah, just the word Messiah, without like the biblical thing that the Messiah has to be God. The no, Messiah is like something who saves. What? The Messiah, the just the word Messiah, yeah. is someone who saves. Where does the Quran, where did the Quran define Messiah for you? It's, you, get yeah, that? you look up a dictionary. The Messiah means a savior. Who cares dictionary? Dictionary is not inspired. It's not revelation. Dictionary can say anything and anyone because it's basing on what people say. Your definition, can you show me that in the Quran? No. So where'd you get the definition? From school dictionaries. Okay. So the, the dictionary came down from heaven, it's Wahi? No. Or dictionaries based on how people use terms. So they see how people use terms. They, so I'm asking the people who define it this way, where do they get it? Because you said it's not like the Bible. Okay, so we'll put the Bible aside. Show me where the Quran defines these terms for you. I don't know where it says it. it. Doesn't. In fact, without the Bible, the Quran makes no sense. Uh, for example, I'm going to prove it to you. All right. Mm -hmm. You're aware that Mary, the mother of Jesus, is the only woman mentioned in the entire Quran, right? Yes. And she's the greatest of all women, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll come to that in a minute. Adam's wife. What is her name? Adam's wife. Yeah, Adam, the first man. Hawa. Hawa. Where does the Quran mention her by name? Let me take a look. It's not there. I just said Mary's the only woman mentioned by name. In other words, your entire Islam needs the Bible, but the Bible doesn't need your Islam because you can't answer these questions for me. If I say, okay, Quran, show me where it mentions Adam's wife's name. It doesn't. The mm -hmm. two sons of Adam, who killed who? What? Again? The two sons of Adam, who killed who? Like Kabil and Habil? Where does the Quran call them Habil and Kabil? Is there a verse or? Yeah, there's Surat Al-Maidah, chapter 5. Surat Al-Maidah. It mm -hmm. tells about the two sons of Adam. You can open up, see with your own eyes, 27 to 32. It says the two sons of Adam doesn't know their names and doesn't tell us who killed who. It Which Surah again? Surat Al-Maidah, chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Ayat 27 32. The Arabic doesn't have their names. 37. 27 to 32. 27. Uh, relate to them in the truth. O Prophet, the story of Adam's two sons, who each offered a sacrifice. One's offering was accepted, while the other... Whose sacrifice was accepted? Huh? Whose sacrifice was accepted? One's offering. Who? I don't know. Exactly. You went converted to a religion that makes mm -hmm. no sense, like scripture that makes no sense, and you rush to become Muslim. Well, what can I tell you? You can't tell me the names of Adam's sons, whose sacrifice mm -hmm. was accepted, whose was rejected, and who killed who, because your Quran makes no sense. Your Quran needs my Bible to make sense out of it. But why do we need your Bible? Because you can't tell me their names without it. And the Hadiths, they come 200 years later, and they're dependent on what the Jews and Christians were teaching your prophet. So without my Quran, give, uh, without my Bible, show me their names from the Quran. Let me take a look. Yeah. I just told you you're not going to find it. You want to look again. Okay. keep. Uh, you find it, I'll take Shahada. 
And if you don't, you're going to get baptized today in the church. What again? If you find the names of the sons of uh, Adam in the Quran, I'll take Shahada. And if you don't, I'm going to baptize you in the Catholic or Orthodox Church. I just told you their names are not there. So when you say, why do you need the Bible? Show me from your Quran their names don't go to my Bible. You won't find it, my friend. I'm telling you, it's not there. Does Tafsir count? Tafsir, that comes what? 300, 400 years later, that's getting it from the Jews and Christians? That's my point. Your hadiths that come hundreds of years later mm -hmm. and the Tafsir, they're getting it not from Quran. Muhammad and his followers are getting it from the Bible of the Jews and Christians. You just made my point. But uh, can we go like back to like Jibril thing, the spirit okay. thing? The spirit created. Okay, so you want to go back and no, I don't want like the spirit created. I want just you said Jibril never mentioned like a spirit, right? I'll give you ten million dollars. Show me the Quran. It says Gabriel is a spirit. I don't know which Quran you have. Yeah, and but in my like, translation, because yours, if it says it, it's lying. Because I'm gonna tell you read the Arabic. Show me. I'm on. I, I don't have an English Quran. I am looking on the web, like on Quran.com. Yes. Do look all you want. There is mm -hmm. not a single. Arabic verse that says Gabriel is a spirit or the Holy Spirit. That's your translations that are adding to the Arabic. Give me the ayah. Surah Ashura, Ashura. Yes, I'll cut off my hand. It doesn't say Gabriel is the Holy Spirit. That's like added. 26, ayah 193. I will give you $10 million to take shahada if that ayah, I know what you're talking about, says Gabriel is the Holy Spirit here. See, because you're not listening. You're going by translations. 26 what again? Say it again. 193. Okay. Now, brought down by the faithful spirit. Ruh al-alameen. That's the Arabic. See, you're not listening to me. Now, tell me where it says Ruh al-alameen, who is Jibreel. Don't go by your translations. So I told you. So you ready to get baptized? Because you failed every test. Here it is. 26, 193. In Orthodox, I just gave you the Arabic. It's right there. And here is, mm -hmm. in English, Al Ruhu Al Aminu. Where does it say Jibril? Why you keep going by translations when I'm telling you nowhere in your Quran, nowhere in your Arabic is Gabriel said to be the spirit. That's your translation. The Muslims who are deceiving you in the translation. So can you show me where Gabriel said to be the Holy Spirit? I'm still waiting. Okay, let me take a look. Oh, this guy. This guy doesn't learn. You like to you you like punishment. It's not in the Quran, but keep going, keep trying. So Orthodox Shahada, this brother reads Arabic and Aramaic as well as Greek. So show it to me. Mm -hmm. Give it up, man. It's not there. Tr telling you it's not there. You're gonna go to translation and I'm gonna show you the Arabic. It's not there. This is what the Muslims are telling you. And then in their translation, they deceive you and they add words to the text. So do you want to talk about why your Quran doesn't teach your Tawheed? It teaches that you have multiple gods or multiple persons who are God. Like one is the spirit, the other is the Do you want me to show you that? It's up to you. No, you can't talk. I'm listening. Okay, so now the spirit creates and gives life. Jesus mm -hmm. creates and gives life. Now... <clears throat> According to chapter 4, Surah An-Nisa 4, Ayah 171, Jesus is said to be Kalimatuhu al qaha illa Maryam, meaning the word of him cast down to Mary, wa ruhin minhu, and a spirit from him. I want you to look with your own eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you open it up, do you have mm -hmm. it or you want me to give you my I'm, I, I haven't I opened it up. Okay, read it for us. 4171, right? Yep. O people of the book, do not go extremes regarding your faith. Say nothing about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah and the fulfillment of his word through Mary and the Spirit. You're reading a terrible translation. That's not what it, it doesn't say fulfillment of his word. It says, Kalimatuhu. And his word, which he can cast down to Mary. So you see, you're even reading translations that deceive you. And that's how you became Muslim, because they deceived you? Here, let me show you the Arabic. Okay. My goodness, they're deceiving you, man. And you read a translation that deceived you, and you became 
Muslim. Wow, amazing. Here, let me read it to you. Here's an accurate translation. I'll show you. First, let me show you Arabic in transliteration. Okay, right here. And then I'm going to put the ayah right here. See? Yeah, but he can't read Arabic Orthodox. He's learning. So I got to give him a transliteration. Thank the Lord we have one. Innama al Masihu Isa ibn Maryama Rasulu Allah. Allah, David, but that's adding the tashkil. Wa kalimatuhu and the word of him. Al qaha illa Maryama wa ruhin minhu and a spirit from him. So here's a little translation. Ironically, it's telling you that Jesus is no more a messenger, but then it makes him more than a messenger. Here you go. Here it is. Watch here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here, I'm going to put it on the screen. People of the book, go not beyond the bounds in your religion and say not as to God, but the truth. Speak the truth about Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only messenger of God and his word that he committed to Mary, Mary and a spirit from him. So here the Quran and Islamic tradition gives Jesus two names that it gives no one else. He's called Kalimat Allah and Ruh Allah, the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah. It's, these titles are given to no one else. You can ask your sheikh. Say, sheikh, are the names of Allah, Kalimat Allah, I'm sorry, names of Isa, Jesus, Kalimat Allah and Ruh Allah, he, is he called the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah? Yes. In fact, I have Muslim sources say that and I'll give it to you in a minute. But my point is, these titles are not given to anyone but Jesus. And it says that Jesus was the word that was sent down. It says the word of Allah that was sent down to Mary. Well, how can he be sent down to Mary if he wasn't up with Allah? Can you explain that logic to me? I can, could you explain again, please? Okay. The Quran says Jesus is the word of Allah that he cast down. Al-Qaha, ask your sheikh, what does mm -hmm. Al-Qaha mean? Ella Maryam mean sent down, cast down unto Mary. So that means if he's cast down to Mary, that means he was up and came down. And notice he came down as a spirit. Because if he was up, he didn't have flesh. He came down as spirit to become flesh for Mary. So why is the Quran telling you that Jesus was already there before he was born of Mary? But you just said he got sent down as a spirit. To be created in Mary. Believe that as a Muslim. You don't believe that Jesus was there with Allah before he became flesh. So here your Quran makes a mistake in agreeing with our theology. That's my point. Your Quran is confused and contradictory because it takes things that Christians believe, mixes it up only mm -hmm. to embarrass Muslims. Can you show me where it says Muhammad or Moses came down to their mother and a spirit from him? I mean, the birth of Jesus is like a miracle. Oh, so he came down. So you're saying the miracle is he was already there as a spirit and he came down. That means if he was already there before he became flesh, then you just admit he was already existing before he became flesh from Mary. I never said that. That's what the Quran is saying. I just showed it to you. The word came <laughs> down, Ruh and Minu, a spirit from him. So he came as a spirit down to Mary. It's right there. Let me give you other translations. So, you know, I don't think I'm making it up here. Uh, I wrote articles on this, but here. So if you're God, uh, like... Um, well, I don't believe Elohim, you're God. God but if go Elohim ahead. sends down something, does that mean that it's already up with him? Yes, if he sends down angels, that means what? They were not there? So God Man, Anything, down. anything. Like if he just sends down anything, it can be anything. No, we're not talking about anything. So when God sends down angels, so that means they're not really there? Don't use bad analogies. It's not going to help your case. So when God sends down the spirit, the spirit wasn't mm -hmm. up. He can create it and then send it down. You just read the verses where it says the spirit and the angels come down by the command of Allah. So that means mm -hmm. he created them out of nothing instead of sending down. For, so Gabriel didn't come down from heaven and uh, the spirit didn't come down from heaven. So you're trying hard to deny the obvious, but it's okay. I know it's it's you're in a corner, but that's fine. But let me show you. Okay, here you go. Yes. Different translations. Okay. Different translations here of the ayah 4171. Here you go. Jesus the Messiah, the son of Mary, was Allah's messenger. His word breathed into Mary and a spirit emanating from him. So 
and he went into. Okay, that's one translation by a Muslim. Let me get you the article, by the way. And I give you the link online, you see it. So here's the article I wrote on Isa being Ruh Allah and what it means and refuting the Muslims who try to explain away. For the rest of you, here's the article. Save it. Use this information. Okay, so you got the article too. Let me show you some other translations. These are Muslim translation. Okay, here's another one. All right, here's another one. The Messiah, Isa son of Mary, was a noble messenger of Allah. His word, which he blew into Maryam and a spirit from him, Musharraf Hussein. Okay, here's another one. T.B. Irving. T.B. Irving. Mm -hmm. All right, here's another one. These are all Muslims, by the way. T.B. was a convert. Christ Jesus, son of Mary, was merely God's messenger, and his word, which he cast into Mary and a spirit proceeding from him. So he came down into Mary and he came down as a spirit. Farooq Malik. Farooq Malik. So here the Quran takes what John says, but doesn't understand that by quoting John, you created a contradiction in the Quran. The Messiah, Jesus, the son mm -hmm. of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah, and his word be, which he bestowed on Mary and a spirit from him, which took the shape of a child in her womb. Farooq Malik. And the links are there. One more. Well, I got a couple more. Hold on. Let me show it to you. So you got, so I know, I don't know if, what your tawheed is, but it's not that Allah is only one person, if that's what you think. Without doubt, Al-Masih Isa Ibn Maryam is Rasulullah, and his kalima, which he bestowed on Maryam, and a ruh proceeding from him. Dr. Kamal Omar. These are all Muslims. Okay, now watch this dictionary, Islamic dictionary. Here you go. Islamic dictionary. Ruh Allah, Spirit of God, a special title given by Prophet Muhammad to Jesus. And this is from M.A. Kazi, Muslim, Concise Dictionary of Islamic Terms, Kazi Publications, page 57. So Jesus was there as a spirit with Allah as his word, and he came down into Mary and became flesh. That means he's already alive up there. And you know what the further proof of it is? You want further proof from your Quran that... Jesus is not from the earth like you and me and Adam, but he Show came me. down from all and went back. You know, it's a further Let's see. Point. Let's see. Okay. If we are from the earth, we return to the earth. So Adam was from the earth, he returned to the earth. Muhammad, earth, returned. Earth. Jesus didn't return to the earth. He went back to Allah, according to your Quran, mm -hmm. because that's where he came. Let me show it to you. If you're Sunni, then you are taught, this is what you're taught, that Jesus was taken bodily physically to allah and will return this is mutawatir hadiths okay 4158 i'm going to mm -hmm. use salari khan to, i'm going to give you two translations let's show you so now it makes sense he came down from allah and he went back to where he came from he didn't come from the earth we go to the earth because we came from the earth he came from allah and went back to allah now it makes sense here it is chapter 4 verse 158 Surat al Nisa 4158. Surat al Nisa. Mm. But Allah raised him, Isa, up, and they put within parentheses his body and soul unto himself. And he is in the heavens. And Allah is ever all powerful, all wise. Now, the reason why they added body and soul, because according to your Mutawatir ahadith, mm. multiply attested sound narrations, supposedly your prophet taught that Jesus was taken physically to heaven. So he's alive physically and will come down body and soul physically. Okay, but let me give you another translation that okay. doesn't have these parent these words in parentheses. 4158 and Arbery. 4158. Chapter 4, Surah Nisa, Ayah 158. God raised him up to him. So where did Jesus go? Heaven. To Allah. To Allah. Not heaven, to Allah. Because mm. there's a difference between heaven and Allah. Now, mm. there's another ayah. 3.55. Surah Al-Miran, Al chapter mm. 3, verse 55. Another ayah. Chapter 3, verse 55. Yeah. Where, did Allah, where did Jesus go? Here, let me show you. Two translations. 3.55. Surah Al-Miran, ayah 55. Here's Salah Ali Khan. And remember when Allah said, Oh, Isa, I will take you and raise you to myself. And it goes on. 
it's not related because as an I'll clear you of the falsehood of the people. Now, here is Arbery, 355. 355, Arbery. When God said, Jesus, I will take thee to me and will raise thee to me. So two ayat, two verses, 355, 4158 say, Allah took Jesus to himself. Now it makes sense. If Jesus came down from Allah, that means he's not from the earth. So that means he goes back to where he came from. As Whereas we're from Adam, Adam's from mm -hmm. dust, we go back to the dust. So the Quran only says, and you can ask your sheikh to prove me wrong, only mm -hmm. says Jesus was taken to Allah. No one else is said to be taken to Allah, not even Muhammad who died. Then he's in the grave in Barzakh. So here we have Jesus, the only one said, only one, you're not going to find anyone else, mm -hmm. that says he came down as Allah's word into Mary and came as a spirit from him and went to Allah. It's only said of Jesus. So I want to ask you a question. So for 2,000 years, Jesus is in a physical body. Where? Heaven, by Allah. Allah, right? And where is Allah? Above the throne. So you just said the Quran says Jesus is above the throne. That's what it says. To me. It didn't say I'm going to take you to the first heaven, second heaven, mm. third heaven. To me. I'm taking you to me. You just said Allah is above the throne. So you just said for the last 2,000 years, your Isa is with Allah above the throne. Mm. See the problem the Quran creates for you? Because the Quran is quoting Christians, not realizing, uh-oh, hold on. If I say this, I just created problems for the ummah. Yeah. Your prophet created problems for you. That's why someone who reads the Bible of the Quran with an open mm -hmm. heart can never be Muslim. Never. But sadly, you didn't know enough. You were young and you studied. So now, what are you going to do with the fact that Isa, your Isa, was with mm -hmm. Allah before he was born of Mary, was born of Mary, creates like your Allah, breathes life into things, clay, like your Allah, is now alive with your Allah for 2,000 years in a physical body. Whereas your, your Muhammad that you're taught, he's al-insan, al-kamal, perfect man, died and buried. Mm -hmm. And your Quran rebukes him for committing sin. And he's nowhere near the glory of Isa. So why are you following him? Why are you following him? Wait a second, I'm eating. Oh, you're eating. I like that. So yeah, eat. go ahead, keep eating. So why are you following this man who, who's nothing in comparison to you? Even your Isa, your Isa of the Quran, mm -hmm. your Isa, whom we don't believe is the real Jesus, yeah. makes your Muhammad look nothing. And you see this man right here, Nukhadiv. He's a Muslim who left Islam, who now follows the Lord Jesus Christ. He gave his testimony yesterday, this man right here. He gave his testimony yesterday. He left Islam for the real Jesus. I pray you'll be one of them. But my point is to you, mm -hmm. your Muhammad, is not even close to the Isa that you believe is Jesus, according to your Quran. So why do you follow Muhammad over against Isa? I mean, of course, Muhammad and Isa, that Isa is like, he's the Messiah, of course. He's is other thing than Muhammad. Muhammad is the seal of the prophet. You don't even know what it means from the Quran. What does Messiah mean? From the Quran? Yeah. So you follow Muhammad mm -hmm. into confusion. Oh, yeah, he's Messiah. Okay, why? Why is he Messiah? And what does it mean that he's Messiah? Show me from Quran. I mean, when we take a look at Messiah, yeah, I, I researched I researched also that like in some verses of the Bible, like Messiah refers to David, the king of the, the king David. So again, notice what you did. You went to my Bible to explain your Quran, but my Bible is going to bear you. I don't want to explain the Bible and the Quran. Okay. I'm so just saying you want to me explain mean, Messiah. Right? Jason, what does the Messiah mean the Quran? Not my Bible. Because you if you go my Bible, you're going to hurt the Quran. Because I'll show you how that destroys the Quran. Can you show me Messiah, the meaning in Quran? Yes. My Bible is not going to help you. My Bible is going to destroy your Quran whenever you quote it. But that's fine. If you want to go to David, I'll be more than happy to show you how the, what the Bible says about David proves the Quran is a lie. I'll get there. But I mm -hmm. first want you to show me, oh, he's Messiah. Okay, why is he Messiah? What does it mean from your Quran? Um, 
Maybe you're busy eating. That's why you can't find it, right? Yeah. Or you, you follow a book that makes no sense blindly. May God save you from it as he's saving millions from it. So can you show me what Messiah means in your Quran? I'm looking. Yeah. Look all day until Hajj, until Ramadan. You're not going to find it. Until Jesus returns. You're not going to find it. The Quran doesn't explain. So if you want to go to my Bible, it's going to be the burial for the Quran. You want to use my Bible now? We can go to your Bible. You sure? We can go there. Okay. You said David is called the Messiah. Do you know where? No, I don't I don't like that he is the Messiah, but I mean the word Messiah refers to him. Where? Where is it use of David? Right. Find it because that's gonna now bury the Quran. I know what you're referring to, but I want you to find it for me. <clears throat> Let him so search it. Mm. He's trying to find it, guys. Let him find it. It's okay. I, I'm, I find it because I'll, I can make it easy for you. You're going to Google it. They're going to tell you Psalm 2. Is that it? Psalm 2. That's what they told you? Your search? Not really. I don't remember the verse. All right, fine. I want you to find it because I'm going to every verse you use from the Bible, I'm going to show you how it proves that Muhammad is an antichrist. He can't be a true prophet. That's what I'm waiting for. So I want you yeah. to bring me your verses. So but what word were you referring to? Uh, there is Psalm 2 that's referring about the Mashiach, the Messiah of God, mm -hmm. but it's applied to Jesus. And there he's called the Son of God who will rule all the nations. You don't believe that as a Muslim. You don't believe Messiah is Son of God who will rule all the nations. Because if you did, you can't be a Muslim. So you want me to show you the word Messiah in Psalm 2? Shikha? Mm -hmm. By the way, Prophet Google is back. We made him a mod after two years. He's back again. So you want me to show you that? Yeah. Go okay. On. But you know if I show you, it's going to show that Muhammad is an antichrist, right? Go on. Okay. Here. Psalm 2. Mm -hmm. This is the one. I'm going to bring it up. Then word anointed one is Shikha. Shikha. That means his Messiah. El Messiah. Arabic, I mean Hebrew, Mashiach. Here it goes, Psalm 2. Okay. What, which verse? Verse 2, but we're going to read all That's of okay. it. So if you look at Psalm 2, it's 12 verses, but we're going to read all of it, okay? Mm -hmm. Why do the nations rage and the peoples, if you have it open, I'm reading Legacy mm -hmm. Standard Bible, translation of the Hebrew, on vain things. The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh. That's the name of God in Hebrew. Your translation may say Lord. That's okay. And his anointed. That's the word Mashiach. Mashiacho, his Messiah. So Yahweh and his Messiah saying, let us tear their fetters apart and cast away their cords from us. Now watch here who the Messiah is though. Okay. Now I told you it's not going to be well for the Quran. Okay. So watch here. I'm going to put the rest of it on the screen. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord, Adonai, mocks them. Then he speaks to them in his anger and terrifies them in his fury, saying, But as for me, I've installed my king upon Zion, my holy mountain. Now here's the nightmare for Islam. I will surely tell of the decree of Yahweh. He said to me, You are my son, Bani. Today I've begotten you. Yelid dika. Yelid tika. I have begotten you. You are my son. So the Messiah is God's son, begotten of God. But then watch what happens. Oh, poor, poor Islam. Which, verses 8 to 9. Look at here. Okay. Hmm. What? Oh, sorry. Wrong one. Okay. Ask of me, and I will surely give you the nations as your inheritance. So God is saying to Messiah, his son, the nations will be your possession. And the ends of the earth as your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall shatter them like a potter's vessel. But hold on. Psalm 2 says Messiah is the king who will own the nations. and They got to submit to him. And he is God's son. Muhammad said Allah is not the father. Messiah is not his son. So Psalm 2 shows your Quran is a lie. So why do you follow it? Why do you follow it? 
Prophet Sivir of God. Psalm 2 says, the mm -hmm. Messiah, Shicho, is the king of the nations. The nations belong to him, and if they don't submit, God will destroy them. Mm -hmm. And that Messiah is the son of God. But Allah is nobody's father. Mm -hmm. No one is his son, and the Messiah is not his son. So you sure you want to use my Bible to explain what it means to be Messiah? I mean, you know that we don't really believe in the Bible. Oh, right. but why did you want to go to the Bible to explain to me what Messiah means? So now give but me it's the your book, Messiah. isn't it? It's your book. No, I want you to tell me what Messiah means in your book because you call Jesus Messiah. Tell me why. Your book. Mm -hmm. Explain. In the Quran, it uh, states of the second coming of Isa. What? In the Quran, it's not really talking about like. No, what are now? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <clears throat> in the Quran, it says of the second coming of Isa. On no, it doesn't say it explicitly. It's inferred. And yeah, not explicitly, but with yeah. uh, uh, tafsir. See, look what you did. I said, show me Quran. You go to tafsir. Mm -hmm. That comes 200, 300. Can you show me in Quran what Messiah means and why he's called Messiah? Don't go to my Bible, because when I went to my Bible, we proved yeah. Muhammad is a liar. Show me in the Quran yep. what Messiah means. Here, you have another ex-Muslim. Glory to Jesus Christ. See, they're leaving Islam in the millions. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and coming to the true God. Glory to God. Pray for this young man because he was deceived into becoming a Muslim. Show me. And then we can talk about your Quran saying, my Bible is the true word of God, not corrupted like they taught you, but we'll get to that. I don't want to change subjects. So, I mean, obviously... He's a Messiah because, like, Allah cleansed him, he purified him. Where does it say that, that he's Messiah for that reason? Don't add stuff to the Quran. Show me the Quran says, you are the Messiah because Allah cleansed you. Don't add to the Quran. Show me where the Quran tells you what it means for him to be Messiah. Sheikh Google's not going to help you. Show me in the Quran, mm -hmm. it says, Ya Isa, you're the Messiah because I'm going to cleanse you. Masaha. Show that to me. I'm waiting. I only can refer to your tafsir or hadith. Exactly. The Quran makes a joke out of you because the Quran cannot answer anything. That's my point. And yet your tafsir, Tabari, comes mm -hmm. 300 years later, and Qurtubi, and then Ibn Kathir 700 years later, and they're not getting it from the Quran. They're getting it from the Jews and Christians. But when I show you what Messiah means in the scriptures, oh, but we don't believe your Bible. This is the religion. And you read this book, you read the Quran, and it convinced you to become Muslim? Stuck for Allah, stuck for Allah. So you don't have an answer, right? Uh, right now, no. No, you won't find it because you're going to run to the commentators and you can't explain it because your Quran has no answers. That's why you need Ibn Kathir and I need Qurtubi. And, and I ask you, well, where did Ibn Kathir get that? And they don't even have one opinion. They'll say, some say it means this. Some say, Masaha means to rub because he used to rub and anoint. Or it means a traveler. They can't even agree. They don't even know. They have different opinions when you go to the tafsir. They don't even have one opinion. So I'm trying to figure out why the Quran leaves you confused. It says he's Messiah, but doesn't tell you what it means. You need to come back to the Bible, the true word of God. But anyway, so you don't have the answers for this. Now, why why does your Quran say Jesus was born of a virgin? What's the reason? Yeah, well, what do you mean by that? Your Jesus is born of a virgin. You never yes. scratch your head. Why? Hey, wait, my why? Because Allah made it so. Why? Allah wants that Isa is be born by a virgin. He is be born by a virgin. Oh, he just, he just felt like it, like he was bored. Okay, I'll just, of all the people, yeah, I'll make him be born because I have none better. Why? Like I said earlier, miracle. But why do a miracle for him that he's born of a virgin? What was the purpose? So he just does miracles just to show off or there's a purpose?
Why? Do you have an answer? I mean, I could, yet, was, I could, I could now say we thought he's a messiah, but one second, one second, Abdul. What was Aisha? What was Allah doing, and Aisha doing when the goat ate your Quran and destroyed your Quran, and your prophet is in hell? So keep barking, Abdul, and watch what I do to you and your dean. Some Muslim is uh, manifesting. So go ahead. What's the reason? What was the reason? I I could say because he's a messiah and and why people is he should the follow messiah? him. And why is he the messiah? So you're going to go in a circle. Oh, he's the messiah. Okay, now why is he the messiah? What makes him the Messiah? What does it mean to be Messiah? I mean, when you ask me why he's the Messiah, I could say Allah decided to. Okay, but him, but not for Muhammad or Moses. Okay, that makes sense. So Allah just decided, I'm going to make Jesus Messiah, born of a virgin. I'm going to make his mother the greatest woman who ever existed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to only mention her in the Quran, no one else. And I'm going to permit Jesus to create like me and give life like me just because for the fun of it. Okay, and that's what you believe. By the way, he never said like I just I want for fun. So he never said what? You said I just made it for fun, but because you're just, that's your logic. Oh, because Allah wanted him to be Messiah, wanted to be born of a virgin, wanted to be His word that came down to Mary, wanted him to be a spirit that came from Him, wanted him to create and breathe life like Him. He just wanted to, and only for Him, and then made His mother the greatest of all women. And you're still not scratching your head. Why is he so special and better than even Muhammad in my Quran? Where is Muhammad's parents? Hell. Say it again. His father is in hell. And what? What else? Hell. Hell. And what about his mother? Uh, I don't know where his mother is. Because according to the hadith that you refer to, she's in hell too. Sahih Muslim. You want me to show you that? Yes. Go on. So Muhammad, whom you were brainwashed into thinking, he is Sayyid al-Mursaleen, the leader of the messenger sent once. And he's al-Insan al-Kamil, the perfect man. And he's the seal of the prophets and his mother is burning in hell. Yet Jesus, his mother is the greatest woman Allah created. The only woman mentioned by name, right? Kept yeah. from sin like her son. And you're still not saying to yourself, man, what is it about Jesus? Here, let me get you that, Adisa. I hope you wake up, man. They deceived you. Your friends lied and deceived you, or they're ignorant. They don't know any better. But now you have no excuse. I pray you come to the truth. But let me get you the hadiths one second. You're going to read it for me. I'll put them on this on the screen. Okay. All right. One second. I'm going to give you an article I wrote on this too. Mm -hmm. Man, amazing. This Jesus was just a man, and he's not even the greatest according to Islam. Muhammad is greater. God forbid such blasphemy. Right? Amazing. Right? They're just like Jesus is outdoing Muhammad. One second. Let me let me do this. Let me get that. Can I ask you a question during yes. when you search? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, from every prophet, like in the Bible, from your prophets, was every parent a believer of, of the of their child? No. With Abraham's parents, they were pagan, but was Moses' parents believers? I don't know. Yes. That's why I'm asking you. I'm asking, yeah, only one Abraham because he was the first one chosen. But all the prophets after Abraham, Abraham was the first chosen <clears throat> to be Khalil Allah, like you say. But all the prophets after him, Moses' parents, were they pagans? No, they were Israelites who were part of the covenant community. What about David? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Um, yeah, all of their parents were believers with the exception of Abraham because he was the first man mm -hmm. chosen to be the one from whose seed would come the prophets. So after Abraham, everyone else, all of them, every one of them, they were born to believing parents, meaning they're part of the community, Bani Israel. Even your Quran says that Allah placed prophet mm -hmm. among Bani Israel. Okay, so when the parents of Abraham died, where they go? We're not told, I don't know. But where did your parents of Muhammad go? They're going to hell because they're disbelievers. No, because you just contradict yourself. Because according to what they lied to you, isn't Ishmael the ancestor of Muhammad? Didn't Ishmael. Ishmael supposedly go to the Kaaba and build the Kaaba in Mecca? Isn't it Ishmael? According to your uh, Islam, yes. they didn't teach you this, that supposedly Muhammad is from the line of Ishmael. Ishmael went to Mecca and built the Kaaba. Didn't they tell you this? With Abraham. Abraham and Ishmael. Why did Abraham mm -hmm. go? Because suppose Ishmael was there. So Ishmael was there, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so that means the descendants of Ishmael lived in Mecca. That's what they tell you, right? Because Muhammad is a son of Ishmael. Mm -hmm. So that means Muhammad's parents, they're descendants of Ishmael. Yeah. So that means they would know about Ibrahim and the religion. There were a lot of uh, religions. No, let's try this again. According to mm -hmm. your tradition, go ask your sheikh. Yeah. The reason why they would run seven times around the Kaaba is because these were the practices that they learned from Ishmael, but their mistake was they added idols. Yes. So that means Muhammad's father and mother knew about Abraham, knew about the true God, knew about Ishmael, and knew about the religion. They still chose to be idolaters, and they went to hell. Why? What excuse do they have for being ignorant? I don't know. They didn't have. That's my point. So in the case of Abraham, I don't know where his parents went. We're not told. Went to heaven mm -hmm. or earth. But with the prophets that come from Abraham, yeah. Moses' parents were believers. David's parents were believers. They all came from the people of God, Israel, who knew God and knew <clears throat> what the deen was. So your prophet is supposedly from Abraham's line through Ishmael. Mm -hmm. And the Kaaba was built by Abraham Ishmael. And the people knew about the religion of Ibrahim because you had the Hunafa, they tell you the Hanafi. Mm -hmm. So that means Muhammad's parents would have known about Allah, would have known about the deen, and yet they still cho chose to become um, kufar and go to hell. And yet supposedly then she gave birth to the greatest man who ever lived. And light came out of her private part when Muhammad was born. And she still went to hell. Right? I mean, they're disbelievers. Disbelievers go to hell. Why did Allah shame your prophet by not guiding them? Because you're telling me disbelievers, right? But mm -hmm. Jesus' mother, God, Allah made her the greatest woman. Yeah. But he didn't do that for your prophet. He let your prophet be humiliated by allowing his mother and father die and go to hell. Man, what a nice God this is. He did this to the best of mankind. When when did the parents die of Muhammad? What? When the, When did the parents die of Muhammad? Uh, Abdullah died before Muhammad was born, according to tradition. But did Abdullah know that Allah is God because his name is Abdullah, servant of Allah? No, no. When does when does his father and his mother died? I just Muhammad. answered you. Are you listening? Repeat what I said. Let's see if you're listening. I know you're running from this, but you're not going to. No, no. Me. Muhammad's father, like you said, died Abdullah. before Muhammad was born. What does Abdullah mean? Servant of Allah. So he knew Allah because he's a slave of Allah. No, it's just an Arabic word. So who's Allah? Abdullah. He's Abdullah. He's a servant of who? Of La. Who? Of La. La. No, Allah. Even if you say La. He's a slave of La, Allah. So you're bearing yourself. What's Abdullah then? A descendant of Ishmael? Maybe. Oh, then you don't know your religion. Anyway, so coming back to Muhammad's mother, Amina. Mm -hmm. She's in hell according to your prophet. And yet Jesus, Allah made Jesus' mother greatest of all women and faultless. Man, mm -hmm. this and Jesus, no, but he's, he's just a messenger. He's just a man. Okay, here, let me show you where your idea says she's in hell. I'm going to let you read it, okay? Okay, but I, I want to answer you my question. Yeah. Muhammad's father died before he was born, right? Are you hearing my answer? You just want to ignore it. That doesn't mean he didn't know about the deen. Because I, I don't want to talk about the deen or something else. What? Muhammad, Muhammad where got the seal of the prophet, right? He's the seal Muhammad of the prophet. What? Muhammad is the seal of the prophet. What does the that seal. got to do that there were people who knew the religion of Abraham before your prophet, like Waraka bin Nofal? So Muhammad's parents were pagans. And Muhammad Why? got his revelations when his parents died. Of Ibrahim. If the parents choose to be pagan, they're pagan. Okay, so, but why did Allah not do that for Jesus? He created Mary to be the greatest woman instead of allowing her to choose to become a pagan and burn in hell like Muhammad's mother. We got a free will. Oh, so did Mary have free will? Did she have free will? Come on, let's go with it. Not and really. yet he still made her the greatest woman and pure? And no, you don't have free will in Sunni Islam. It's mm -hmm. Qadr, Takdir. Allah predestined. Predest and but if my parents died before I became a prophet, how should I guide them? Because if your parents are born with Jews and Christians, 
and they know about Ibrahim and his religion, you just buried yourself. <laughs> My parents are also in Germany, a Christian country, and still they're not Christian. So that means they know Christianity. They choose to reject it and go to hell, yes. right? Yes. They choose so to reject then you it. You just made my point. Muhammad's parents had no excuse not to believe. And since Allah determines who becomes a believer, why didn't he make them believers like he did for Mary? You didn't answer the question, you ran. Did Mary have free will? Not really. Oh, so Allah chose her not to have free will, to create her to be perfect. Why didn't he do that for your prophet instead of allowing them the free will to say, no, we're not going to follow Tawheed of Ibrahim, though we know it. We're going to worship idols and go to hell. What because Allah about? guides the one who he loves. Say what? Allah guides the one who he loves. That's it. You just made my point. Thank you. So Allah was pleased to make Mary the greatest woman, but was pleased to damn your prophet's mother to hell. Good job, Allah. You just made my argument. Are you listening? The argument is mm -hmm. Allah loves Jesus so much more than your prophet. He decreed and created Mary to be perfect, but he decreed and chose to guide Muhammad's parents to hell. Excellent. You just made my point. That was exactly my point. And you're not listening to yourself. You just made my point. So why did Allah, was he pleased to make Jesus's mother a righteous woman, sinless and perfect, but he was pleased to misguide Muhammad's mother to hell. So you didn't answer that question. But, but I mean, what does the parents have to do with the prophethood? You are you on drugs, brother? I mean, honestly, do you? Do no, you, I'm not on drugs. I'm asking you, why yes. is Jesus's mother so special that she's the greatest woman? You keep tap dancing. Because he's a, a mother of the Messiah. Of course, he's also different. the Messiah made her great, but I thought Muhammad is the greatest man. So why didn't he make his mother great? Say that again, please. Okay, you please listen to yourself. Yeah, yeah I'm just opening something. You I, just said, oh, because she's the mother Messiah. So yes. it's because the Messiah he made his mother great, but I thought mm -hmm. Muhammad is the perfect man and the seal of prophet. So why couldn't he make his mother great? Do you hear your answer? I don't want you to now run from your answer. Oh, it's because she's the mother of the Messiah. In other words, because she was given the honor to give birth to Jesus, mm -hmm. it's Jesus who made her the greatest woman. But you guys keep telling me, Muhammad al-Insan al-Kamil, the perfect man, Sayyid al-Mursaleen, the leader of the sent ones, the leader of Beni Adam, seal of the prophets, and as great as Muhammad was, he still couldn't make his mother great. She ends up in hell. Are you listening to yourself? Because you're just destroying yep. religion. Now, do you want to read the hadith before we continue here? I gave you the link. Go on. Give me the hadith. Okay. I want you to read it. So I thought you just made my case. This is Sahih Muslim, by the way. So people don't say, it's daif. Mm -hmm. It's daif. Daif jiddan. Daif. No, it's Sahih. Sahih Muslim. Okay. There it is. So I'm going to put it on the screen. And then I'm going to play Sheikh Asim Al-Hakim, if you want to hear it from his own mouth. And he's going to make the argument I made. I'm going to play him so you can hear. He's going to make my argument that they had no excuse to be unbelievers because they knew the religion. There were Jews and Christians and there were the Hunafa. Okay. Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger saying, I sought permission to beg forgiveness for my mother, but he did mm. not grant it to me. I sought permission from him to visit her grave. And he did what? Look how cruel you granted, granted, granted permission. But you understand that means your prophet was being tortured by your God. Your God tortured your prophet. You know that, right? You know how? <clears throat> because he didn't let forgive his mother? Not only that, but every time you go to your mother's grave, knowing she's in hell, you're going to be happy? No. So what kind of God is this that says to your prophet, no, I won't forgive her. She's going to be in hell. But go visit her grave to be reminded she's in hell. Damn, talk about psychological turmoil. That's something Satan does. Satan does that. Okay, let's say I have a child. It's a disbeliever. Here we go. Again. And I know when he doesn't become religious, he goes to hell. How can so, I ask for forgiveness and get him on religion okay. to be not in hell? Brother, we're going to go in a circle. You just told me Allah guides whom he wants and misguides mm -hmm. whom he wants. You just told me Allah chose to make Mary the perfect woman, the greatest yeah. woman. But why didn't he choose that for your prophet if he's the greatest man? See, we're going in a circle again. I don't know, man. I don't know. I really know. It, My it, answer, it, I don't know. know. That's it. Don't argue for the sake of argument. That's fine. 
I, if you don't have an answer, you don't need to come up with one. But I'm just showing you that your Isa of the Quran is better than your Muhammad. I'm talking about Isa, not the Jesus of the Bible. Forget about mm -hmm. it. Paul is better than your Muhammad according in our Bible. But I'm saying the Isa that you think is Jesus, better than your, your Muhammad. But here, let me get you another hadith where the companions see him weeping, Sahih Muslim. So I want to show you. But Sam, how can you ask for forgiveness of a disbeliever? So why why didn't Muhammad know that? And then why did Muhammad then <clears throat> weep? And then Allah says, it's okay, I won't forgive her. Go to the grave. Why did he say, don't, stop going to the grave so you don't remind yourself that she's in hell? So now if you know your son is in hell, are you going to go visit the grave to be reminded that he's in hell? I, from, my, from, from my knowledge, uh, Muhammad visited her grave when he was old age. Okay, friend, let's try this again. Did Allah not give him permission after he told him, your mother is not forgiven, you can go visit her grave. So what I'm asking you, mm -hmm. if Allah told you your son is in hell, yeah. would you want to go visit the grave to remind that he's in hell or you want to stay away from it? I mean, it's still my son. I want to, to go to the grave. Oh, to be reminded that my God threw my son in hell because he could have guided him but chose to misguide him. Man. Yes, okay. Anyway, now let's get you, do you relate do you reject Islam by heart? You don't want part of it. Islam is from hell. Muhammad is from hell. And but you don't want, do you want to be part of it or you reject it by you want heart? Me to be part of Satan? You want me to go to hell with your prophet? Then I'll become Nine, Muslim. Sam, do you reject Islam by heart? Do you want me to speak Swahili? Let me say it again. From my heart, your prophet is in hell, mm -hmm. he's a son of the devil. You want me to so say reject again? Islam by everything. Do you reject the Jesus of the New Testament, who is Son of God, who says, I am the way and the truth and life from your heart, which means your prophet is in hell under his feet? From your heart, do you reject that? Not by Jesus heart. says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Since your prophet reject Jesus as God's Son, he's in hell under the feet of Jesus, under his shoes. Do you reject from your heart that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and he brings you to the Father? From your heart, do you reject it? Say, I'm going to play not your from game. my heart, not from my heart. Okay, good. That means there's hope for you. Good. So now Jesus says, I am the truth and the life. Mm -hmm. One of the 99 names of Allah is the truth, Al-Haq. It's mm -hmm. never used for a prophet in your Quran. One of the 99 names of Allah is Al-Haq, yeah. the truth. Never used of a prophet in the Quran. Jesus says, I am the truth. And then Allah's the life, but Jesus says, I am the life. Now, can you show me in your Quran where a prophet says, I am the life? There is no verse that says that. Okay. Can you show me in your Quran where a prophet says, I am the truth? I mean, I can search, but I would no, say isn't. I don't find anything. No, there isn't. Yet Jesus in my Bible says, not only mm -hmm. I am the way, I am the truth and the life, and you cannot come to the Father except through me. Here. So I want to know something. Mm -hmm. If I go with my Bible and I don't do what you Muslims say, because you got to say it's corrupt, because if you admit it's not corrupt, it buries Islam. No, no, it's changed. But then I read this corrupt Bible, how beautiful the words are, much more mm -hmm. beautiful than your Quran, which is not corrupt. And I see Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. So Jesus says, I am the truth. No prophet says that. Mm -hmm. Only your God says in the Quran. I am the life. Something only your God says. But then he says he brings you to the Father. So is Allah your Father? No. Say it again. He's not our Father. We don't refer to him as Father. And yet Jesus said he is my Father. So you just proved you're Allah is Satan. Did you read the verse? The verse not now showing? Though no one comes to the Father mm -hmm. but for me. But you just admit your God is not the Father. Yet Jesus says the God that exists is his Father, and he mm -hmm. becomes my Father when I believe in him. So why should I follow your Allah? He's not my Father. Why should I follow your God when Jesus tells me mm -hmm. the God that I will live with is my Father, the Father of Jesus, and if I mm -hmm. trust in Jesus, I become his son? You just admit to everyone, Allah is mm -hmm. not the Father. So why the hell would I want to follow Allah when he's not the God revealed in Jesus? I don't know. So why are you following Allah? He's not the God revealed in Jesus. Because I don't believe that God revealed in Jesus. 
but you just told me Jesus is Messiah, the son of Mary. Of course you believe that God revealed himself in Jesus. But it never says that God revealed himself into Jesus. Oh, so then when Jesus came, he wasn't revealing God to you? What was he revealing then? The word of God. And the word of God is what? God's revelation so you can know who God is? Yes. Okay, so God revealed himself in Jesus. So the God revealed himself God in every prophet. revealed himself in Muhammad because Muhammad is a liar. According to so Jesus, God is a liar. So did God reveal himself into Moses, Abraham? And Moses and Abraham said, God is the father, which you just buried yourself. Because Moses said, God that sent him is the father mm -hmm. of Israel. You sure you want to go with Moses? Here, let me show you Moses. Deuteronomy. So God revealed himself in Moses, in Abraham, in every prophet? Understand what reveal meaning he sent them to make people know who God is. And Jesus mm -hmm. says, the God that I make known is my father. And if you believe in me, he will be your father. But now let me show you the God of Moses. Deuteronomy okay. 14. Hold on. Don't run. Because I'm going to show you the God that sent Moses to have Moses reveal God. He's not your God. This is now the Old Testament that the Jews follow and not just Christians. This mm -hmm. is the same Old Testament of the Jews who are not Christians. Deuteronomy 14 verse 1. You are the sons of Yahweh your God. You are the sons of Yahweh your God. You shall not gash yourselves. Nor shave your forehead for the sake of the dead. So here, the God revealed in Moses, who sent Moses to make mm -hmm. himself known. He says, you are the sons of God. You're my sons. Again, are you a son of Allah? No. So then you don't worship the God of Moses. You're lying. Because God of Moses said, those who follow the covenant that I established Moses, they are my sons. So your Allah is not the God of the Jews revealed in their Torah that they believe is not corrupt, which we accept with them, nor is it the God that sent Jesus to make us know that that God is the father of Jesus. And if we believe in Jesus, he'll be our father. You just admit that's not your God. So why should I follow your Quran? Like I said earlier, I don't know. So then why do you follow it? Exodus 4.22 here again. This is Old Testament. Ask the Jews. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, can you open up your uh, Old Testament? Can you read this? It reads the same way because these books were with them before that we had them. Okay, Exodus 4.22. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, thus says Yahweh, Israel is my son, my firstborn. Israel is my son, my firstborn. And then I read to you the Psalms. Mm -hmm. Where he says to the king, you are my son, today I've begotten you. So do you believe the king, the Messiah king, or even David the king, is the begotten son of God? What again? Do you believe the king? Remember we read Psalm 2? Yeah. He, uh, he says to him, you are my son, today I've begotten you. He's saying to the king. Do you believe the king, the king mm -hmm. that was anointed, whether David or Solomon or Jesus? Mm -hmm. That that king is God's son begotten by God? No. Psalm 2, 7? Say it again. No. Okay. So the God of Moses says Israel's is my firstborn son. The God who sent David, who sent yes. Solomon, who will raise up the king says, you are my son today I've begotten you. The God who sent Jesus said, this is my son. I'm his father. And Jesus says, I take you to my father. And if you believe in me, he'll be your father. But the God of Muhammad says, no, I'm not a father to anyone. Who do you want me to believe? All these different prophets and their writings that came before Muhammad or say, no, nah, it's all corrupt. I'll follow Muhammad. You must be on drugs to follow Muhammad. I'll be honest with you because Moses says, God mm -hmm. is the father. We are his sons. David says the kings of Israel are the sons of God and he is their father. Jesus says, God is my father. I'm his son. If you believe me, you'll be sons of God. Muhammad comes and says, no, Allah is a father to no one. None of us are his sons. But well, let me show you other prophets. These are Now, these are the Jewish prophets, the scriptures that the Jews have yeah. except. So it's not just our scripture. Isaiah, the prophet, what did he say? But isn't Isaiah, the name Israel uh, was given to... Jacob? Yes. And Israel is my son, and you are the sons and daughters of God. Here, Isaiah 63, 16. Isaiah 63, 16. Mm -hmm. This is another prophet of the Jews 
whose writings they accept, and we accept too, because we accept their Old Testament. Now here, he says to God, for you are our father. Though mm -hmm. Abraham does not know us, and Israel does not recognize us, you, O Yahweh, are our father. Our redeemer from everlasting is your name. Isaiah 63, verse 16. And Isaiah 64, 8. Isaiah 64, 8. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. Isaiah 64, 8. But now, O Yahweh, you are our father. We are the clay, and you are our potter, and all of us are the work of your hands. So Isaiah says, God is our father. Moses says, God is our father. David says, God is our father. And he begot me to be a son to rule for him. Solomon says, God is my father, I'm his son. Jesus says, God is my father, and if you believe me, you are mm -hmm. sons. Muhammad says, Allah is not the father, we're not his sons. So I got multiple witnesses, all before the Quran, agreeing, and Muhammad comes and contradicts, and you want me to follow Islam. I got a question now. Yes. You told all the prophets, which said that the, God is their father. And for David, you said that David is a begotten son. It's going to backfire against you. I hope you asked me the right question. Be, you, you said David is a begotten son? Not in Psalm 2. You tried to refer that to David. But even Man, if but it's now, David, right now, where you listed all of the prophets. Yeah, because Psalm 2, if you're listening, mm -hmm. pretending you're listening, earlier you told me that David is called the son of God. I go, are you referring to Psalm 2? So I'm assuming your argument that Psalm 2 is about David. So there he's begotten. But it's not about David. It's about Jesus. But let's go that he's begotten. Come on, because I know where you're going with this. Come on. Like I said okay. earlier, I don't know the verse where I read this. Okay. So but David if, is a begotten son. Make your point, because I want to use your point to destroy the But problem. if you now said that David is a begotten son of the verse, yes, you assumed I knew. Yes, your point, so I can bear yeah. your cross. Go ahead. Like I said earlier, you said David is now the begotten son, but Jesus okay. is the begotten son. Yes, get to the point. But Jesus is, isn't is the begotten yes. son, isn't it? Because the Bible says anyone mm -hmm. who believes in God will be born of God mm -hmm. by the Spirit of God, causing them to be united to God. But does your God, Allah, beget sons? No. So you just buried your crown. See, that's why I'm saying don't waste my time. I know what you want to say. Because Jesus is not the Son of God the way David is. And I'll show you from Jesus saying that he was there before creation. But I want to bear your argument. Yes, mm -hmm. David is the begotten Son of God. Solomon and Jesus. But your God begets no one. So how is it the same God? So I want you to say to everyone, I agree. David mm -hmm. is the begotten Son of Allah. Say it. I want to record you. Say I never it. said that David is the begotten Son of Allah. No, but David says... In the psalm, the king is begotten of God. So we'll say mm -hmm. that's David. So David is the begotten son of God. Do you agree? Sure. Oh, you do agree? Sure. Then you're not a Muslim. So why don't you re renounce Islam? Why is it, Why am I not a Muslim? Because your Quran says Allah is not a father. Mm -hmm. Jews and Christians are not his sons. And all you can be is a slave. So now renounce Islam. You just said Allah's a liar. Because you said, yeah, I agree with David. He's the son of God. So you renounce Islam? No, my argument was that you now accepted okay. my verse where I Do said David is the begotten son. Do you agree David is the son of God? No, Allah doesn't beget son. But you said sure just two minutes ago. So are you lying to me? No, you didn't let me finish my argument. Finish your argument because I'm going to bury in your argument. Go ahead. We now... Let settle down the verse you assumed I mean that David is a begotten king. Yes, okay, go ahead. Yeah. But Jesus is the begotten son in your Bible. Okay, and what's the problem with it? How can David be the begotten son if only Jesus is in your Bible oh, the begotten okay, son? Let me let me let me bury you to show you this is what Islam does, makes people stupid. Are you uh, do you have brothers? No. Okay. Do you know people have brothers? Yes. Okay. Two brothers, are they both begotten by their father? No. Then you 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 got it, man. See the slam, the drugs. Yes, they're both begotten, meaning born from their father. That's why they're brothers. They have the same father. So in your world, you mm. can only beget one son. See, this is what Islam does to your brain. But isn't begotten like? No, begotten is uh, a have a preference. Say it again. Someone? Begotten it, doesn't it mean like have a preference over one another? No. Begot means that you are born of God, you're his son. We are begotten of God, John 1, 12, 13. So I don't know what world you live in that you think 
that only one person can be born of the same father. No. Mm -hmm. God begets children <clears throat> by the spirit that's sent into them to unite them to God. We are the begotten children of God. John 1, 12, 13, born of God. So, but my point is, that you thought that you're going to catch me, does your God beget any son, let alone many sons? Mm -hmm. Does he? What again? Does your God beget any sons? No. One no. son, let alone no. many sons. No. So then how can your God be the God of David and Moses and Isaiah and the God revealed by Jesus? I'm still waiting for that answer that you kept trying to avoid. I don't know. I hear you have it. I don't know. It's not. When are you going to realize your Quran is a joke because the Bible proves your Quran is false? This is why you got to say the Bible is corrupt. And let me show you something else Jesus said in John 17, verse 5. You ready? Mm -hmm. John 17, verse 5. Yeah. This is uh, Jesus speaking. He's praying to the Father. Now, Father, now listen. I want to see if you agree with this. Now, Father, glorify me together with yourself. You and I, together, glorify me with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. So Jesus says, I was with the Father before the world in the same glory. And now I'm going to go back to that glory and be alongside the Father. So do you agree Jesus was there before the world alongside the Father in the same glory, and he returned to that glory next to the Father? No. So if you had read the Bible, you would have never become a Muslim because you're going to see clearly this God of the Bible has nothing to do with all of your Quran. So why didn't you take time to read the Bible before you ran to the Quran? Why didn't you at least have the decency say, mm -hmm. wait, wait, you know, I come from evangelical. Let me start reading the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Let me at least see what the Bible says that I've never studied. You ran to the Quran and just one reading and you accepted this? We read the Quran, we laugh because it's a joke. I mean, I never identified with the term Christian, I was That's a hypocrite fine. back then. That's fine. What I'm saying is still didn't really okay. Even though I'm a hypocrite, still my background is Christian. Maybe I should just pick up the Bible and read Matthew, Mark, Luke. Not saying you were, but you said you come from mm -hmm. that background. So you already knew about Christianity. So you should have said, hmm, let me pick up the Bible. Let me read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, learn about Jesus. Instead, you didn't even think about picking up the Bible. Someone gave you a Quran. You read, oh, wow, this is true. Where is no, it? I'm not look, Sam. I mean, like back then, I said I was a hypocrite and like I made fun of God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. And I would say I feel like I don't know the term right now, but that's fine. So, why not... don't you go back and read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? You've read the Quran, right? Yes. Why don't you now take a week or two mm -hmm. weeks? Just read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Just read it. Not to believe it, just read it. What but I mean, I how could I like read the book where I made fun of? So you think if you make fun of a book, that means you can't? Not, not just the book, but I said like horrible things. Like I made okay, fun of then, everything. Then you believe that the Jesus of the Quran is a real Jesus, right? So you made fun of that Jesus, right? I mean, in the Quran, Jesus isn't like the Jesus from the Bible. Yeah, but uh, you, uh, I thought you'd believe that he's the same Jesus I believe in. So before I talked to you, you thought mm -hmm. you had a different Jesus from the Christians? From that what I read, yes. You're you're shocking me because the Muslims say, no, we believe in Jesus. We love Jesus. He's a mighty messenger. We love Mary to convince us they have the same Jesus. But in your Bible, Jesus is like the physically son of God. The God is inside what Jesus. What do, you mean? what do you mean physically? God is not physical. To yeah, physical. But I mean like Jesus is, has a physical body and like God is inside him. Yeah, but that's not... That's not what makes him the son of God. He's been the son of God before creation. I just showed it to you right here. Before the world, I was there with you, Father. So it's not the virgin birth that made him the son mm -hmm. of God. He's been the son of God. And they want to from the beginning, the from world. beginning. Yes, and he entered the world in a physical body from Mary because God was showing that Jesus Christ is truly God's son, which is why when mm -hmm. he came into the world, no man could father him. So people realize this man is not merely human mm -hmm. and entered the world through male and female. 
He's truly the son of God. So the only way you could enter the world was through a virgin as a sign that God is his true father and no man can claim to be his true father. So Jesus being God mm -hmm. has a father, no mother. Jesus as man has a mother, no father. Mm -hmm. Jesus as a man has a mother, but no father. Jesus as God has a father, no mother. So this is what makes him beautiful and astonishing. But I think Satan's playing on your mind because you feel too guilty to go back to G that real Jesus because you made fun of him thinking you have no hope. That's how Satan's playing with your mind. Why wouldn't you have any hope? Because well, I said horrible things. But Jesus can... said, all blasphemies against me will be forgiven. All blasphemies against me will be forgiven if you ask. So you let Satan play with your mind because you're afraid that I insulted him and he will never forgive me and you ran to another religion? That's the same. I mean, I just didn't just um, insulted him. I insulted the Father, the Holy Spirit, the prophets. Well, okay, but the Holy Spirit, blasphemy the Holy Spirit is when the Spirit convicts you mm -hmm. and he keeps trying to get your attention and you keep resisting him and then you reach a point where he's done with you. But he's not done with you because if he was done with you, you wouldn't be talking to me. If he's done with you, you wouldn't be talking to me. He would hand you over and you would hate Christianity and you would become twice the son of Satan and you'd be full of hatred and venom, not only towards the Bible, but towards Christians. And you'd even mm -hmm. take it to the step of trying to harm Christians. You're not there. That's when you know it's over for you. But You're I mean, there. like... You know, I've come from an evangelist background. Okay. So, like, every Christian has the Holy Spirit, right? No, not every Christian. A true Christian born of the Spirit, yes. But people who think they're Christian and claim to be Christian, many of them mm. are fake Christian. You would believe that too. Many are fake Muslims. No, that's that doesn't mean you have the Holy Spirit. No. That doesn't mean you have the Holy Spirit. Judas followed Jesus and mm. betrayed Jesus. And he did miracles in Jesus' name, but he didn't have the Holy Spirit. It said he belonged to Satan. My point is, mm -hmm. if you had blasphemed the Spirit, you committed the sin and won't be forgiven, you wouldn't be here. The Spirit would have handed you over to your desires, and you would have been full of hatred and venom, and all you would do would be attacking Christians and attacking Christianity, because then you know you reach that level. The fact you're here means you haven't reached that level and the Spirit is still drawing you, telling you you can be forgiven. But, like, why didn't God let me enter Islam? That's not because God let you enter Islam. God is trying to get your attention, but if you don't respond, that's when it gets too late. You remember you said free will? Mm -hmm. Okay, so God is getting your attention, but if you ignore Him, then you can come to the point of now angering the Spirit where now it is over for you. But why won't he want my attention now and not back then? I several well, times I asked for him. Attention back then. You weren't paying attention. I paid attention. Of, of course, I was a hypocrite, but sometimes, like when I deep down, I asked for a, a sign, something. Okay, and the sign was what? What sign do you think he gave you? Nothing, I think. Nothing. No, the sign he gave you is now that you went into Islam, He's calling you out. That's why you reached out. Because I, the friend that reached out to you, mm -hmm. many people, when they're told, come and talk to me, they don't come and talk. You came. You spoke. That means he's still drawing you. But why now? Oh, you want, okay. No, no, let's wait tomorrow. Why not? Okay. I'm, wait, no, but I'm, what I mean, like. Better late when, than never. Better. But I mean, when I want to get the connection with God earlier. A deep connection, but why now? Why now? Because he sees you're on the verge of destroying yourself because you're following a fake God who's not even <clears throat> worthy enough of your worship because he won't even acknowledge you as a son. Better late than ever. Or just for okay, let's wait 20. What do you mean why now? Because now it's getting desperate for you. It is getting to what they call critical mass, where now you have been duped into thinking this is a this is God. And it's now getting worse and worse for you. And the, the, the danger is you get to a point where you become so hardened, you could care less about the God of the Bible and start hating him. But you're not there yet. And now he's reaching out to you, not that he didn't reach before, in a way telling you, wake up. 
because it may become too late. You want to follow a God who doesn't even want you as a son and doesn't want you to dress him as a father. Whereas here is this God who says, I want to be your father and I want you to be my son. It's up to you. I'm not forcing you, but don't say, oh, why not? Better late than ever. Why not mm -hmm. now? Would well, you want him to wait for you to become a jihadi so you can go to Iraq and Syria and behead people and rape women? Then? Like many are doing now in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and Syria? Then you want... Why not now? Better late than ever. Better now than when you went to the point where you now grow a beard and you have your your robe above your ankles and then they're inciting you go do jihad in Palestine or go do jihad in Israel or not Israel in Syria like mm -hmm. many have from your country who went joined the terrorist groups better now than then when you've already beheaded people killed people and raped women better now than then but it's up to you friend now I don't, I don't know what else I can tell you, but Islam doesn't teach your Tawheed. Islam doesn't teach the things you've been taught. The Quran doesn't teach any of this. And even in your Quran, Isa is better than your Muhammad, but he's still not the real Jesus. The real Jesus is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So here, what I'm asking you to do, if you want to mm -hmm. do it, it's up to you. What language do you read the Quran in? German, German. So here, I want to give you a link. Okay. I'm going to give you a link. One second. And then you have my Skype. You can come back to me. Mm -hmm. But here's what I want. It's up to you. You do it. Good. And then we'll talk after that. But here's what I want you to do. Right here, you're going to see the Bible in all translations, even in Deutsch. So if you see the link here, right there, you open it up for the rest of you too. You're going to see it's all translations, but then you go to German, Germany. One second. Let me find do you mean answeringislam.com? No, no, not that come. I just gave you the link to the Bible. Bible, you see in the private chat? This is Bible uh, version. In Skype? You in Skype? It, you'll go, you'll see it says German, Deutsch. Yes, yes. Okay. You're going to start here. I'm going to give you this link to the New Testament. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here it is. This is New Testament. Right here in Deutsch. Yes. That's what I want you to do. If you do it, that's between. If you don't, then there's nothing I can do for you. But here's what I want you to do. You're going to click on that, mm -hmm. and then you're going to see it says Psalm, Solomon, but that's not where you're going to start. You see where it says Matthaus, Marcos, Lucas, Johannes? The link I sent you right now in private chat. You see the last one? Check it out. Do you see it? Uh, it? Uh, here, yeah, Bible Gateway. Yeah, but I sent you a link to the Deutsch New Testament right there. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Okay, then you see it says Matthaus, Marcus, Lucas, Johannes. Mm -hmm. Start reading Matthew, then Mark, Luke, and John. Take a week or two. Just read it to yourself. Mm -hmm. When you're done, come back to me. And if you have more questions, we talk. But at least read. You've read the Quran. This is the four biographies about Jesus. These four biographies written, mm -hmm. two of them were the disciples of Jesus. Two were companions of the disciples. Just read. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke. Just read it. And if you're convinced it's false, stay Muslim. But at least read these four. And then if you have questions, if you read, say, hey, I have questions. You know my Skype. Uh -huh. And then we take it from there because right now there's not much more to say. But read them. You owe it to you. You read the Quran? Read this. Mm -hmm. You got not lose if at the end, okay, I'm more convinced I'm Muslim. More power to you. You never have to contact me again. But start oh. reading. Mm -hmm. right. You got the link now, right? I got the link, yes. Okay. Come back to me when you're done. If you come back to me, that means you read it. You want to have a conversation. And if not, then I understand you want to stay Muslim. That's between God because I'm not going to pursue you. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's your life. All right? Yeah. All right. Good talking to you, Jason. We'll be praying for you. Thanks for the conversation, Sam. Anytime. You you know where to find me. Then the conversation has ended. Say it again. Now the conversation ended, or well, I mean, I want to give you a break so you can go do what you need to do. I'll go what I do. I mean, unless you have you want to talk more. I mean, we can be here to five. But what's the point? I mean, you already mm -hmm. been given a lot of information to think about. Then right. I'm going to read the four gospels. 
Yes, and when you're done, you can come mm -hmm. back. We'll have another conversation, but that's up to you. Okay. Okay, buddy. See you then. Take care. Okay, folks, we're going to call it a night, I guess. Yeah, it's a night. And Sunday's my cheat day, Lord willing. So should I start it now or at 6 in the morning? Anyway, folks, I hope you're blessed. Now, guys, do pray for me. Here's how you can pray for me. Pray for Jason. Pray for Jason. 